To assemble your Casa Inc. PS board folding Adirondack chair, carefully unpack all parts from the box. Inspect the box's contents to make sure you have received all parts listed. Remove all plastic wrapping as well. Now that everything is accounted for, we can begin with step one. Step one is attaching part I to the seat of your chair, part A. Insert the four 40 millimeter screws into the pre-drilled holes on part I and tighten with the screwdriver into part A. Next, move over to part B, the backrest of the chair. Take both part J's, four more 40 millimeter screws, as well as four 50 millimeter screws. Align part J with the pre-made holes on the side of part A. Use the 40 millimeter screws for the top first and then the 50 millimeter ones for the bottom. Caution, do not overly tighten the screws. It's best to thread by hand to start and save the screwdriver for last. Next, we'll go back to part A, the seat of your chair, and grab the front left and right legs, parts E and F. With one 60 millimeter bolt with washer and hex nut, thread through the lower middle pre-made hole on the front leg. Use the hex nut screwdriver to tighten and seal with the hex nut. Since we have two legs, we will repeat this process for the other side. Step four is attaching your chair's armrests to its front legs using two 60 millimeter bolts. By hand, thread the bolt through the pre-made hole on part E and onto part C. This also works with part D onto part F. Tighten with the screwdriver and seal with the hex nut for both sides. Like the front legs, these can be done in either order. You just wanna make sure you're matching up the correct letter. The easiest part of this step is screwing part L onto both armrests. Part L is the plug that will allow you to fold up the chair for storing or travel. Thread one 18mm screw through the last link of Part L's chain, and then screw it into the pre-made hole on Part E and F. Just like the front legs and armrests, you have two of these, so you will have to repeat this process for the other side. For the next step, grab one of the two small Part Ks and two 60mm bolts. Thread one of the 60 millimeter bolts through the pre-made hole onto the seat of the chair. When complete, do the same for the other side. You will note that two bolts will be dangling from part K in order to attach the backrest later. To prepare for the backrest, align part B, the backrest of the chair, into the divot of part A. Thread the loose 60 millimeter bolt from part K and tighten into the pre-made hole on the bottom of the sides of the backrest. Because we don't want the chair to fall apart, we will seal with the hex nut. We will repeat this process for the other side. And it doesn't matter which you begin with. Using the 80 millimeter bolt, thread from the outside of the armrest and into the side of the backrest of the chair. Tighten with the screwdriver and seal with the hex nut when complete. At this point, you might be tempted to go and take a seat in your chair. Oh no, if you had an accident like I did, make sure to keep your service card handy. Hopefully you didn't have an accident with your chair like me, but now that I have my replacement parts, let's move on to the next step of attaching your chair's front leg support, part G, by threading four 40 millimeter screws through the four pre-made holes on the front of part G. You will note there is no pilot hole on the other side for this step, but there is a divot on the front legs. The final step is attaching your chair's back leg support bar, part H. Using two 35 millimeter bolts, thread through the outside of the back legs and into the side of part H. Screw the bolt until it's completely inserted. If you need to move your new chair, you can pull out the tab from part L on both sides of the front legs and fold it away for easy travel. You have now assembled your Casa Inc. PS board folding Adirondack chair. Be sure to comment any of your questions or tips down below, and be sure to follow us for more instructional videos.